When dealing with anxiety, it's important to rule out any underlying medical conditions that could be causing it. So this video, I'm going to talk about seven common medical or physical conditions of anxiety that can present one with anxiety symptoms. And anxiety can range from just racing thoughts, worries, feeling tense or irritable, to more physical symptoms like difficulty breathing, numbness, tingling, feel like your heart race is fast. So it can be of a wide variety of symptoms. So one of the common substances that's used or common uh, drinks that's used nowadays that can lead to anxiety is caffeine. Too much caffeine can lead to anxiety, whether it's from sodas, coffees, teas. So you want to be sure you're regulating how much caffeine you're having if you're one that's prone to anxiety. Speaking of, of caffeine, nutrition in general can play a big role in anxiety. Uh, they find that people who eat more sweets, sugars, junk foods, those are types of people or those that kind of nutrition is going to lead to more anxiety and mental health symptoms, whether it's psychological problems, anxiety, depression, uh, compared to people who eat more fruits, vegetables, and healthy nutritional habits. So one, you want to watch out for the caffeine. Two, is you want to monitor the diet, make sure you're eating healthy. Next, I want to bring about is cannabis. And I talked about a more detailed video about cannabis in general in the past, but pot or marijuana, as it may seem like it helps with anxiety in the moment, but it does tend to worsen just psychiatric problems in general. Uh, a lot of people have mental health problems related to cannabis, and so actually when cutting back cannabis completely from one's life, can one actually have their mental health symptoms uh, get better, including the anxiety. Thyroid issues. So thyroid is a natural hormone that's produced by the body, but it can be out of whack sometimes. It can either be too low or too high, and it needs to be checked, addressed with by a medical doctor, and treated accordingly. So when the thyroid hormones are too high, the metabolism can also be too high in the body, and it can just lead to uh, anxiety symptoms, and once that one gets treated for the thyroid hormones will their anxiety symptoms improve. Another medical condition that's rather common that can contribute to anxiety is anemia. Or another name for anemia is like low blood count or maybe there's different types of anemia such as like a, um, people who aren't generating enough iron in the body can have iron deficiency anemia. And this can be a physical cause of anxiety that leads to like heart races fast, feeling nervous, overwhelmed. So there's various ways to treat anemia. Some people take iron supplements, some people take vitamin C with iron supplements, but something that should be run talked about with a medical doctor. And if someone is suffering from anemia or has anemia as a condition, that could be contributing to anxiety. So next I want to talk about medications. And one of the medications that we see in psychiatric psychiatrically that often causes anxiety or contributes to anxiety is prednisone. Now prednisone is a steroid that can be used to treat various breathing conditions, autoimmune diseases. Um, it can have a lot of side effects to it, but one of the side effects can be mental health symptoms such as problems sleeping, psychosis, and anxiety. So you want to just be careful about some of the medications you're taking if that's contributing to anxiety and prednisone is one that we often see. Lastly, one of the medical conditions that can contribute to anxiety that's a problem in society these days is dementia. Dementia is essentially memory loss and the loss of cognitive function that's impacting someone's ability to live and life. Uh, and one of the earliest manifestations of this is anxiety. And so if someone is elderly uh, without much of a mental health history and they're starting to develop anxiety symptoms, it might be important to get screened for dementia and I have another video about what dementia sort of presents as.